Hello everyone, welcome to another moment with Lorraine. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a small haul that I got from Bath & Body Works. I didn't plan on buying anything the day that I went to Bath & Body Works. I just was gonna walk around and not really buy anything, but then I couldn't resist the sale they were having. It was buy three and get three free. Who can pass that up? I hadn't planned on buying a candle because I usually don't buy candles from Bath & Body Works, but I won't turn them down if somebody gives it to me for a, a gift. <laughs> but this one is usually $24.50. That's what it says on the back, $24.50. And I got it that day for $15.95. It was marked down, so I thought I'd give it a try. The candle is hot cocoa and cream, and it smells divine. It smells just like a cup of hot chocolate. If someone didn't tell you it was a candle that you were smelling, supposing somebody put a blindfold on your eyes and told you to smell this, you would think they have a cup of hot cocoa in front of you, but it is a candle. It is very strong, and I'm really impressed with the smell. They did a good job on this. I love it. And look at the pattern on this lid. It is so festive and fitting for this time of the year. When this jar becomes empty, I am not gonna throw it away. This is too pretty to throw out. This can make a good DIY. You know, you can make it to store something in or who knows, you know, little cotton balls, Q-tips, something, but don't throw it away. Think of something to, to use it for. Okay, let's get started on these creams. I prefer creams in the winter over lotions. Creams just go on a little thicker and heavier and they protect your skin better in the winter than the lotions. But I had to get these lotions because certain family mem members who I'm not gonna name took my lotions, <laughs> but, um, they didn't really take them. I said they can have them. They asked and I said, sure, take them. So no biggie, no big, no big wolf. So here is the cream. This first one is rose water and ivy. And the fragrant notes are soft rose petals, rain kissed ivy, creamy sandalwood. And all the bases for these creams are shea butter, cocoa butter, and aloe. This one I really like because it's not too overwhelming. It is nice and soft and it's clean when you're just getting out of a nice hot bath or nice shower and you just wanna feel fresh but not overwhelming. You know, try this. This one smells so good. And plus I love the packaging. Who doesn't love pink? Okay, and the next one we're going to do is Cactus Blossom. This one smells really good and I love the packaging. Look at that, that looks so pretty sitting on your dresser or in your bathroom on the sink. And the, cat, the fragrance notes in this one are cactus flower petals, sun-kissed coconut, and fresh sparkling lemon. This one smells so good. I think I'm gonna go back and get the body wash, the lotion, and the spray so I can layer this. Um, I didn't get it that day because I don't know, I just wanted to try it by itself, just the lotion. The next one we are trying is Snowy Peach Berry. So this is more of a Christmassy one. And the fragrance notes are snow-kissed cranberries, um, frosted peach blossom, and shimmering woods. And this one, oh, this one smells good. Yes, this one smells so clean. I think I'm gonna go back and get the rest of the family. <laughs> from Bath & Body Works. I don't know why I just got this, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest. This one is really nice. You, you all should try this one. Don't pass this one up. And last but not least in the creams is Sweater Weather. This one smells really good. It's such a nice light scent. It's not too overpowering. And you know what? I might just go back and get all the sets for all of these lotions. <laughs> I don't know why I did it in the first place when I was there. And the fragrance notes in Sweater Weather are Apple Slices, Blue Skies, Fresh Breeze. So yeah, this one is a nice one. I really like it. Now let's get into the lotions. Okay, so this one is Frosted Coconut Snowball. So it's a, it's kind of a, you know, a winter holiday scent. And 
the fragrance notes in this one is Frosted Coconuts, North Pole Vanilla Winter Freesia, if that's how, if that's how it's pronounced, and Snow Kissed Woods Sponge Sugar. And the base um, lotion for this is Shea Butter, Coconut Oil, and Vitamin E. So this, um, the base lotion in this is just a little bit different from the body creams where the body creams base um, lotions were Shea Butter, Cocoa Butter, and Aloe for their moisturizing. But this one smells so good. I think I might go back and get the whole family for this one too. I'm not gonna leave the families behind anymore like I did on this last um, shopping haul. So my next shopping haul is gonna be a pretty big one. Last but not least is Rose. Airy rose water blended with jasmine petals and creamy musk. Um, the base moisturizers on this one are shea butter and vitamin E, which leaves your skin feeling incredibly smooth and hydrated all day long. I really love this one. It's a great scent. It's not too mature. Anybody can wear it. So even um, teenagers that I know love this. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my little Bath and Body Works haul. And I really enjoyed going shopping for it, which is one of my favorite pastimes. And as an added bonus, look at this. A girlfriend bought me this um, and, and a different candle um, for my birthday. And this happens to fit right in there. Well, it should, it's from Bath and Body Works. And this lid, look at that, that's just gorgeous. And it looks like a set. So, you know, Bath & Body Works really steps up their game when it comes to their candle holders. They have some really pretty ones this time of the year. I just love this. Look at that. Nice. Right now, Bath & Body Works has out all the wonderful holiday scents that you can think of. But if you're not in the mood or you're just not the type to walk around smelling like apple pie, cinnamon, and sugar plums, still shop these. Um, you can still find what you want. You don't have to go with the holiday scents this time of the year, just stick with what suits you. And I'm glad you all um, came and joined me for my small haul and I'm happy with what I got, but I am gonna go back <laughs> because this isn't my last trip to Bath and Body Works. So I hope this helped you on your, your selection or, or if you haven't shopped Bath and Body Works before, I hope this helps you to make up your mind and check out all the candles they have. They have so many wonderful candles there that smell just fantastic. And the throw from the candles over your house, the scent smells wonderful and they last for quite a while. So I went ahead and split these up into two categories. These are your gomans and this is your non-goman. Goman means a synthetic, sweet smelling scent. It makes you feel like you wanna eat them, that you can eat them, but you can't. And the rose doesn't have, um, doesn't have the goman category to it, but they are still sweet and very good. Same with this candle that I didn't mention before. It is also a goman because it has, uh, let's turn it around, let's see. It has decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. And this smells, mm, smells delicious. It smells like you can just drink it up. And that's the kind of scents I like. I like the sweet smells. I really like the gourmands. As you can tell, this side outweighs this side, even though I still love this side. So that was my little lesson for today about gourmand. I'm sure the word gourmand would sound better if I had a French accent. It would be gourmand. Uh, you know, you roll the uh, gourmand, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks for watching and you all take care until next time. So what are your favorite scents from Bath & Body Works? Please let me and others know your thoughts in the comments below.